The government of India has called an all-party meeting later today. The meeting, which was announced earlier this week, comes a day ahead of the special parliamentary session set to begin on the 18th of September. The government is expected to discuss the agenda of the special session with the opposition parties in the all-party meeting. The announcement of a surprise five-day special session triggered an intense buzz around what the government aims to achieve with it. Four days after the announcement of last month, no agenda was disclosed. A tentative list of business was finally released last week, which the opposition says contains little that calls for a special session. Opposition leaders speculate that the government may be holding what they call legislative grenades up its sleeve. Among the perceived legislative surprises, there are speculations that the government may bring one nation, one election reform. The Congress Central Working Committee rejected the idea of simultaneous elections to centre and state assemblies in a meeting held yesterday in Hyderabad. The opposition has also criticised the unusual move, which they say was called in without any prior consultation with other parties. As of now, what stands out on the agenda for the session is a special discussion on Parliament's journey of 75 years, starting from the Constituent Assembly on the first day of the session. Now, the first day of the special session would be the day when lawmakers bid farewell to the old parliamentary building. The next four days thereafter and every other session hereon will be held in the new parliament building, which was inaugurated in May of this year. Apart from the special discussion, the government has listed four bills that will be tabled in the session, including one that intends to downgrade the rank of Chief Election Commissioner from that of the Chief Justice of India to a Cabinet Secretary. The bill also allows the government to have a greater say in appointment and removal of the election commissioners, including the Chief Election Commissioner. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.